You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. To It's All About You with your host, Dr. Martha Latz. Dr. Martha will offer various solutions that will expand your horizons, offer solid possibilities, and guide you through developing the skills needed for your desired outcome in everyday life. So now, please welcome the host of It's All About You, Dr. Martha Latz. Welcome, welcome. We are live from BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and I am your host, Dr. Martha Latz, and our show is It's All About You, broadcasting from the East Coast, where I have an office in South Florida. My expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at home, at work, and with friends. And I'm so excited to continue another live interview with the second pillar of American business and job market, the owner of a family-run business. Recently, my husband and I experienced a southern restaurant steeped in tradition, wonderful food while traveling and stopping in Shreveport, Louisiana. It is Orlando's Cafe, an icon of excellent southern fare as authentic as the Old South can get, and it is. The best gumbo, red beans, and sausage stuffed shrimp, in my opinion, north of New Orleans. The food is wonderful. But what captured my heart and my husband's heart was uh, the att- t- that attention, that historical legacy of this family restaurant, passed down from generation to generation. The family opened in 1921 as Freeman and Harris Cafe and continues as the oldest continuously operated, owned an African-American restaurant in the United States. It's at its current location on Monk House Road, I, I think since uh, the 1930s. And it's continuing the historical tradition found not only in the naming and the passing down of the names, but in the energetic spirit found in the fourth generation of men of the, in this enthusiastic family of restaurateurs. We fast forward to the night. 2019 general manager, 30-year-old Damian Chapman, who now owns and operates the restaurant with his two younger brothers, Orlando Chapman II and Adam Chapman, after the unexpected death of their father. What I also found is interesting is that longtime employees who were with their father and their grandfather are still involved and a key part of this family-owned restaurant, as are the decades-old recipes. In my opinion, what makes the Orlando Cafe, formerly known as Brothers Seafood, legacy of Freeman and Harris Cafe and Pete Cafe, you feel it. You feel it when you open the door, that warmth, that, that greeting, and the wonderful smells. 97 years of historical legacy. In a quote from Damien Chapman, this, is, this just uh, blew me away. We were, according to Damian Chapman in his quote, the only restaurant in this city where people at the time could dine together of different races, backgrounds, ethnicity, class. They were not able to worship together, go to work together, go to school together. 
but they could come in and have supper together at my family's restaurant. And to me, according to Damien, it's something worth continuing for my my children and my children's children and the whole community. I am so excited to welcome and introduce my guest, Damien Chapman, general manager who owns and operates along with his younger brothers, Orlando Chapman II and Adam Chapman, Orlando's Cafe in Shreveport, Louisiana. What an honor it is to have you on All About You and to share your journey live with us on on the air right now in the middle of such a busy lunchtime, hungry crowds and lines uh, forming outside. Thank you for being with us, Damien. How do you do it? Hello? Uh, I mean, you, you you did so well, you know. I, I <laughs> was explaining and and telling the whole story. I got teary eyed over here. I was like, oh wow, that's us. She's talking about <laughs> us, you know. I mean, but it's such an honor for you to have us um, to to come and be on the show with you guys. And I mean, we we're just continuing with in love, you know, serving food and making people happy over here. Oh, one, wonderful, but but how do you do that, Damien? You have a family life. You also do you also do a lot of the cooking that's there. That's why the lines are farming outside. Um, you know how how do you do that? How do you juggle that? What is your inspiration? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I do a lot of the cooking here. I have a, I have a great team of other chefs and cooks that that um, work together to put this thing on day in and day out. I mean, we, it's like a a, a huge factory here. I mean, we've got a little elves working and making things happen. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, you guys make that food taste so good. I say, you guys, Jesus is back there cooking himself and telling you it's not us, it's him. You know, so uh-huh. it's, uh, it's a lot. I mean, this this has really become my family. I really don't have uh, anything outside of work that I do, but I mean, it's, it's not really considered work for me because it's, it's more so my passion and my purpose. So uh, when I'm here day in and day out, you know, it's, it's all what it's meant for and, you know, what I love to do. So uh, it's, it's a great feeling. It's a great thing that I'm bl- just blessed to be born into this great legacy. And, uh, you know, like you said, fifth generation, actually, uh, five generations of Chapman uh, that were, you know, before me to, to be able to, well, four generations before me, and I am, me and my brothers are the fifth generation uh, okay. to continue on. Um, oh, so wow. it's, it's just a remarkable uh, heritage, uh, history, um, legacy, and we're, we're just here to continue it on. What What is the most challenging part of continuing this history for you and this legacy? Uh, I think it's the fact that I've got such great men that came before me, um, and to imagine the, sh- the, the size of the shoes that I have to fill every <laughs> single day, because I mean, those guys did it for, you know, 90 plus years, you know, to continue a thing. And, you know, how, how amazing is that for one business to, to be continuing for that long? And especially in the African-American community, that's unheard of, you know. Yes. Um, so just to realize that, man, like they did it. And after after a month, I was ready to throw it in. I was like, oh, no, what did <laughs> I get myself into? But, I mean, just to think that I've, I've got some, some, some great foundation that was already laid. Um, and just to, to continue it and put my best foot forward. And, um, you know, my, my younger brothers, when they get of age and come and actually to, to, to work, you know, they're just to show them the ropes and to make sure that, you know, all the things get passed down and continued and everything like that. I mean, because uh, my family, we're just all about serving people. We love to make people happy through food. And, and, oh, and wow. you hear the stories of my my father and my grandfather, my great grandfather, and my great uncles, and all my cousins, and everyone that's actually played a part of the cafe, they all speak of how big, big of hearts that they all had. They loved people and just serving people no matter what. And that's generally like the natural thing that comes out of it. So it's amazing. Oh, I love oh. it. I'm so stuffed with emotion just being a part of this legacy. Uh, so it, it, it's awesome. It's awesome. When you guys came, it, I guess you saw a little piece of it, but I mean, that's, 
that's what we are every day, day in and day out. Well, that's what made us come back a second time on our way back through. And it was yeah, unbe- yeah. unbelievable. It was unbelievable. <laughs> da- Damien, is there one particular story or uh, a couple of stories that stand out for you that uh, we can get a sense of the men before you? Uh, is there a particular incident or a particular um I, you know, some sort of uh, just something that you hit. I call it an iconic moment. Like I had a father and son and the son said to the father and he was 16. He said, my iconic moment was when we all stood there and hugged. So yeah. that's what I'm yeah. kind of talking yeah. about. Is there one that stands out for you? You're choking up. I can hear it. Yeah. Well, well, you, um, you, you kind of touched on it uh, with, for well, one, the main part of well, where they were able to bring everybody in in the city to be able to, to dine together. Okay, um, hold that so, thought. I mean, hold that thought. Okay, we're going okay. to we're gonna pause here. We're going to pick this up on the other side of the break. This is our time to pause. We're in, I'm interviewing an exciting young man from Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm your host, Dr. Martha, and we're coming to you live from BBM Global Network, and we're going to hear what uh, Damien has to tell us on the other side. So stay tuned. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book coached to greatness unlock your full potential with limitless growth Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals listen to john hawkins my strategy saturdays 1 p.m eastern on the bbm global network and tune in radio oh 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 i'm so excited i was so waiting for my guest to come back that i forgot welcome back we're coming to you live from bbm global network and tune in radio and i am your host dr martha and it's for all about you we've been talking to damian chapman before the break he stepped out to make sure that the hungry crowd is getting their lunches Uh, And he's back with us, and he has a couple of stories uh, or instances or situations that stand out for him that he can give you a sense of the historical uh, family legacy coming through um, all of his ancestors. Are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Those people out there are hungry, hungry, hungry. So I I had to make sure that they were okay. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, but... Um, as I was saying before, man, to be able to have the community come together um, and eat at the cafe was the stories from that was just so heartwarming. You know, like I said, to that food can bring you together. You know, we here gumbo is is a really big thing, and that's one of the dishes that we're very popular for. And to yeah. think of the cafe as being one big pot 
and all the different people that could come together into that pot and make one big gumbo, you know, no, no matter, you know, what type of ethnicity <laughs> they were, the racial background, the church that they went through to and all that good stuff, um, you know, but they were able to come together, you know, put those issues aside and to at least, you know, rub shoulders and say, oh man, this is really good, you know? So like <laughs> it, it spoke volumes to me um, because, you know, in the societies and things that we lived in, you know, that the food that my family um, were able to cook and prepare, you know, could change the heart of many people. You know, that that's kind of where it started for, you know, the city, you know, so that was huge. Um, and it just, uh, it carried on, you know, they, they treated no one differently. Um, and, and, and the way that they treated people even outside of the restaurant, I've, I've heard so many stories about how great they were with, um, trying to build their employees. They, 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 they took people off the street and gave them a chance. Um, they, they, they helped them save money by starting them bank accounts when they couldn't do them on their own. They forced them all to save money in order for them to, to continue or to, to make a life for themselves and their families. Um, and, and it trickled down. I, I really believe it's a, a, a genetical thing um, <laughs> because my father, I, he, he was a great man as well. Um, and, it, it was never, it was always about empowering each other. It was never about uh, competition or, you know, things of that nature. It was helping people. And if, if there were other people in the cafe that desired to own their own restaurant and to do their own thing, we, we gave them our blessing and, and, and helped them along the way. My father helped uh, some close friends, family, and relatives, you know, start their own businesses and cafes and things of that nature. And you would think that it was like a, you know, uh, a competition, but it was more so, you know, there's enough money out here for everybody to make, you know, here's your blessing, like, let's do this thing together. So that's, you know, a huge deal. Um, and it just showed how big their hearts were. So. Wow. Uh, yeah, and and it, it carries over from the moment we opened the door and walked in. Uh, you could just feel it. It just was enveloping. You have, you have, um, you have challenging parts to your day as you're working every day, feeding everybody. There's the old Italian uh, saying, I can't say it in Italian, I wish I could, but they say when you sit down, you may sit down as not friends, but by the time, by the end of the meal, you get up and you are friends. That's what kept running through my mind as you were, were talking about it. So it's like when you have a particularly challenging day, how do you handle that? Because you're working with a lot of different personalities. You're working with, you're interacting with a lot of different people that come into uh, the restaurant as you're serving. So how do you, how do you handle a challenge? I pray all day. I pray when I walk through the door, I do the sign on the cross and I pray all day. And I pray when I leave this place. Because you're right, you have to deal with so many different people and so many different personalities. Being in customer service, it's it's very challenging. Um, but I mean, that's what we're here for. We're here to. I tell the people, we have to make them feel just as good, if not better, than they did when they first came in. Um, and for one, the food is going to speak for itself. But people want to be treated um, nicely with great customer service. So it's it's a point to to make them smile. Oh, and I mean, not even just dealing with customers, we have to deal with each other. I've got 50 employees here, and we're all like brother and sister, and we, we fight and fuck and argue, but at the end of the day, we all love each other, but it's very challenging, uh, but we have to continue to remain humble and, and remember that, okay, hey, we're here to make people happy uh, and to make you know money and, and things for our family, so... It's, it's, it's difficult, but we, we maintain and we get through it. It's, it's fun. But when you when you love what you do and everyone here um, is happy, and uh, we, we tend to have a really good time in the future. Oh, wow. You know, it, when you were talking about that, you know, you're pr praying. It reminds me of... Uh, if I can just go there just for a moment of Paul, he said, we, you know, pray continuously through, by the work of your hands, you're praying continuously. And that's, that certainly seems to be part of what's going on for your, uh, for the restaurant. Uh, 
What puts a smile on your face, Damien? A, at the end of the day, when you say your final prayer, what puts a smile on your face before you go to bed and a smile on your face when you get up? Uh, I think it's the, the thought that my father and my grandfather and my great-grandfather and my great-uncles, that they are happy. Um, seeing the smiling faces on the customers and knowing that we made an impression on them and we made them happy, um, in turn, makes me happy. Um, it, it, it's truly an embedded deal. Um, I, I live to make people happy. I mean, that's what makes me happy. If, if, if someone is not happy, I'm not happy. So, But knowing that we made it through another day and we're one step closer to that centennial mark, you know, um, and that the, the, the clock is not going to stop on my watch. It makes me happy and, and, and drives me to do it again the next day. My, my younger brother has a, a daughter. He made me a papa really early. I call him <laughs> my, my grandbaby because he's, he's kind of like a son to me, kind of sort of not really, but he's still my younger brother. But, uh, you know, just to know that I've got another generation that's waiting to be here to to continue it, it, it drives me that much harder to 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 do it every single day, day in and day out. So I love it. Oh wow! Oh wow! So you know, you said that the legacy is passed down through the food and um, the. Uh, you were talking about the African American tradition through food, and all ethnicities uh, pass down their traditions through the food. What is, if there is any, probably all of them. What is your your most favorite restaurant that uh, food that you cook in your restaurant? That besides the gumbo, because the gumbo is great. Take it from me; it's wonderful. Um, that you really, you really do feel all of the generations there rushing into it. Yes, I know the gumbo is definitely, uh, it, it, that's what I would choose. But since you say I can't choose the gumbo, um, mm. it would have to be our stuffed shrimp. Um, our stuffed shrimp were um, created in the the kitchen of Freeman and Harris Cafe with our group of guys that were there, my, my grandfather being one of them, um, and it, it lasted really long, and it's what we're known for. It's a, an amazing dish. Uh, it's, it's unlike any other stuff shrimp that you could find across the world. Uh, it, it's iconic to Shreveport, and it, it, it's, it's, I can taste every seasoning, and they are a part of all of that. And I can feel it every single time. The tartar sauce that goes with it, oh, my gosh. So it's, <laughs> it's, that would definitely have to be it. The gumbo and the stuffed shrimp. If oh, I only wow. had to choose two. <laughs> if you only had to choose two. Well, I, I had the red beans and rice. And this is a great place for us to pause. Damien's going to go out and check his hungry crowd out there. We're going to take a break. Oh, yeah. And we're going to come back with this amazing uh, gentleman, uh, and all of the wonderful things that are going on in Orlando's Cafe in Shreveport, Louisiana. You've been listening to us live, all about you on BBM Global Network. And stay tuned as we continue the journey with Damien. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of career current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. 
Welcome back. We are coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am your host, Dr. Martha, for It's All About You. And we're going to continue our talk with our one, my wonderful guest. He is such an exciting, energetic, charismatic Aww. young man, Damien, uh, and, his, and his cafe, his family's cafe. He's, I stand corrected, fifth generation he's filming shoes for Orlando's Cafe in Shreveport, Louisiana. Are those people understanding that why you're jumping in and out for being so <laughs> Yes, they are. Okay. They're standing and beating on the table. What do you want, Danny? What do you <laughs> want, Danny? <No. laughs> yeah, I bet no, the they team, I The bet team they is really are. handling it. Oh, well, you'll have, to, you'll have to tell them that they can listen to you on air because they'll be able to do that. You know, we were talking before the break and you were talking about the, the, the um, signature food, the gumbo, and of course, um, the stuffed shrimp and that through the different seasonings, because it was such a group family effort and it's a, a, a recipe that was passed down and that you can actually uh, in the in the different spices which makes it um, which makes it so so special when you when you look at it what are your next goals do you see for the restaurant for the legacy um, oh man a lot of people are wanting us to expand. Everybody's like, oh, you guys need a bigger place. We can can barely get into the parking lot and barely enough seating. But uh, I don't know. I mean, just to, like I said, the ultimate goal is to con- make sure it continues. Um, but um, uh, I, I don't know. Um, I, I feel as if personally my purpose is just to uh, take it to the next level um, and to ensure that, you know, um, the quality and the consistency of the food is, is always there. Because, I mean, 90, 97, uh, 98 years, you uh, there, if it's not broken, you know, there's no need to fix anything. Right, right. So, but you talked uh, about... But definitely... Um, Go ahead. Definitely... Uh, <laughs> I can hear it in the background, man. I see it. Hold on, just one second. Well, that's one of the challenges that happen when we when we're running a family business. This uh, uh, this gentleman, Damian Chapman, left a. He's got a. Um, but he's a mechanical engineer, and he was working for a large company when the unexpected death of his father. And he left, he left his own career that he's got a degree in and that he's studied in to come back and run the family business and carry on the legacy, that connection. And that's what captured um, my, my heart because American businesses are run with families. Uh, We are the backbone. They are the backbone of America, family-owned businesses. And they employ, he told you that he employs uh, 50 people uh, for a family business. And I've been to the restaurant and twice. And it's, you know, it's it's always buzzing. It's always humming. Damien, are you back with us now? Oh, I don't think so. I, I don't yes, think ma'am. so. Yes, ma'am. I'm back. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Back. I'm here. Okay. Okay. So, yes, so you, you were talking so about taking. Okay. okay. Well, that's part of the challenge of a family-run business and and being very, 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 very fe- uh, um, popular. Um, <laughs> Damien, Damien, you, you know, I was t- I was telling that you had left your your you have a degree and you had a career as a mechanical engineer. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. I graduated from the Southern University Agriculture and Mechanical College in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where I received my bachelor's of mechanical mechanical engineering. Um, I, I worked in the oil field for about five years. Um, for a very popular company called Halliburton. Some of you guys may know them. Uh, <laughs> so I did that for a couple of years. And uh, when my, unfortunately, when my father passed away uh, in 2013, that's when I 
had to come back and and and, and leave my life behind. And, but which which was always known, you know, I always knew that I was going to work into the cafe. Um, but my father allowed me to uh, explore and do things kind of on my own time, and uh, allowed me to go to college on a marching band scholarship. I was in the marching band in college. So what did um, you play? What did, did you play? Oh, uh, I, I played the trombone. I played the trombone. Wow, you played the trombone. We're going to we're going to pause here for another break. We're going to pick this up on the other side. So, we're going to listen to uh Damien's trombone playing. I don't know if he still has the trombone with him in the <laughs> restaurant, but we're going to take a break here and we'll be back. So keep listening. You've been listening to It's All About You with me, your host, Dr. Martha, coming to you live on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio and keep listening for the other side if you're a person caring for someone living with dementia then this program is for you it's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving the foundation of care susan kohler believes is communication innovative dementia care with susan kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one increase quality interactions Decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. Welcome back, and I know you're anxious to get with my host, Damian Chapman, uh, owner of Orlando's Cafe in Shreveport, Louisiana. But first, you're listening to us live on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and I am your host, Dr. Martha. Before the break, Damian was talking, you were talking about you went to um, you went to get your college education, and you were on a scholarship, and you it was a musical scholarship, and you played what instrument? The trombone. Woo! Do you still play it? Uh, a little bit here and there. We do um, alumni band every year for homecoming at school, so I get to go down and play with my college friends, and and we 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 act as if we're we're twenty all over again. <laughs> that's that's good uh, you know on that same note with with your busy schedule do you have any hobbies that you like oh man i mean i don't, I don't get much time to do anything but this but whenever i do get a chance to break away for a second i love to fish i, I love to go and just sit out on the water and uh cast my line and just pray that i get a bite you know my brothers that was actually the last thing we got to do with our father before he passed away um so that's it's very near and dear to my heart to what i like to do when i'm not you know here uh, also yeah. you know weirdly I, I do a little swing dancing too as well you <laughs> you do oh yeah. i can see that yeah. i can see that yeah wow wonderful yeah. wonderful yeah. <laughs> wow you know you you talked a little bit about um 
You talked a little bit about your hobbies and you talked about the memory. That That's what I was t- talking about is that iconic memory you had. The last thing you did with your dad was you all were fishing together. Um, you yeah. know, and on that same note, you know, where do you, you said you wanted to see the restaurant, the cafe go to the next level. What's that next level? Uh, I don't know. I guess when I say next level, so my, my younger brothers, they're, they're 20 and 15, uh, the 20 year old, he is uh, actually currently deployed right now in Kuwait, serving our country. He's an airman. Oh. Um, well, thank you and, for and, our and, service. And I, I know, I know. I really didn't want him to leave us. Um, but just like my father did, he allowed me to go to college and to kind of do my own thing. Um, but when he, he comes home, um, and becomes a part of the business. Of course, I would like for them to implement, you know, some of the ideas that they would like. You know, this this place has been a staple here in Treefort for nearly 100 years. So uh, my purpose, I would like to just continue it here. They they may want to, you know, take it to Houston or to Florida or, you know, uh, Atlanta or Chicago or anywhere else. Uh, so, I mean, if, if we'll just – you know, listen to hear from God and see exactly what he has in store for us for the next hundred years. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's it, you know, just continuing wow. and make sure it continues on. Wow. 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 And so you're a uh, big, your big brother to a, uh, you have a 15 year old um, brother. Wow. That's yeah, a heavy well, he, responsibility. He comes to help on some weekends as well. So, oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, he's in high school and he's he's eager to to get in the kitchen as well. So that, that's what drives me to continue because I know that they'll be here and and, and ready to to continue the torch. Wow! Wow! Tell me, what is one thing that you're never ever without? Ooh, I am. I'm never without my without my father and my mother. Uh, I carry them with me everywhere I go in my spirit, in my soul. Uh, I've got a little token. My father, uh, he gave me, he collected $2 bills, and he gave me some $2 bills. I keep it in my wallet at all times. I've got a business card in my wallet. Oh, uh, wow. I carry my rosary at all times. I keep my rosary with me at all times. Um, wow. And those are things that just kind of keep me grounded and to, to stay uh, to stay sane. I mean, like you said, it, it gets pretty crazy in the cafe. Uh, and just to just to continue and make keep me happy, you know. Wow, wow, wow! Oh, that's amazing. I just got choked up with all of that. You choked me up a couple of times, Damien, telling telling your journey. When you um, when when you uh, talk, you talk that your family. Um, has been such a part of Shreveport and their big heartedness and that, you know, uh, people that you knew, people that worked for your dad, your grandparent, your grandfather, uh, and uncles, uh, and said that they wanted to start out and you would, you would, you would help them. Your family would help them. You'd all pitch in together, and it became a community. So it's like the food in uh, Shreveport and restaurant business, your family is really at the heart of it, expanding that part of uh, Louisiana, as I understand it. What would you say to a new entrepreneur that would be starting out with Say wanting to go into your biz, uh, into the fa- into a restaurant business, or even into just another business, starting up a family business. Well, I I would tell them to to make sure that it's really what they want to do, uh, and to find something that is considered that they would consider their passion, uh, because all of this is passion and purpose driven. Uh, and if it's not your passion, you know, you could, it could definitely, you know, uh, not, not work out, but you've got to give it your all. So that's what I would tell them with a little bit more. Okay. All right. Well, we're, we're, it's time for us to pause here and take another break. Uh, we're going to pick up with Damien for another part and let him tell, 
let him tell us how to get to him. So you've been listening to It's All About You um, on BBM Global Network Live with uh, and Tune In Radio with me, your host, Dr. Martha, and we'll figure out how you guys can get to Shreveport and taste this wonderful food. Stay tuned. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Welcome back. You're listening to It's All About You uh, on BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And I'm your host, Dr. Martha. And we have been talking to an exciting, energetic uh, person by the name of Damian Chapman, who is at Orlando's Cafe in Shreveport, Louisiana. And I want to come for lunch. Uh, and he's oh, come busy. On, come on, chef. Come on, come on. yeah. I, I am I am ready to come. You know, Damien, we were talking, we we're talking about you were taught having uh, giving some advice for someone who is starting up a family business and that finding your passion in it and what you really like to do because it becomes um, all time consuming. So when you when you when you look back on all of the time cons- time that you have put into the restaurant is there one maybe 5 minutes or some part of a day that is just totally yours that you are just connecting um with yourself just for a few moments do you try to build that in for yourself I try, but it never seems to work out. I mean, this may be the most time I've ever had to myself to be talking with you, you know? So I'm grateful for this little time. But, uh, no, I mean, on the ride here and on the ride home, you know, uh, yeah. because your your business really becomes your life. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it, I, my advice to someone would just be, like I said, make, make sure it's your passion because it's going to be something that becomes your life. Um, and, and make sure it's something that you enjoy to do. No one wants to go to work and be unhappy. Um, so, especially if you're the boss. So, uh, yeah, but it's, it, you know, follow your dreams and, and just go for it. You know, don't be afraid to fail. Um, you could because you're gonna fail. Go just accept the failures and and turn them around into success and and, and make it happen. So, can you describe for us a failure that you had that you turned around? Oh, yes. Uh, taking things too slow. You know, a lot of people want to move it fast, fast, fast. But maybe not a failure, but just um, making sure. You know, I like to, I try to be so perfect at times. So I think that uh, I'm failing moment, trying to be so perfect um, and just allowing things to happen and, and learn from the mistakes. That's all. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, you told us that you're never without your parents, you're never without your dad, and you're never without your mom. They're always there with you. And, you know, and when you, uh, you know, it's, it's, you, you can feel it. You can feel it when you walk in the restaurant. You can feel, um, my husband and I felt like we just walked into, uh, not a restaurant, but into a person's home. We talked about that yeah. all the way back and when we were driving back and when, when we left and dro- drove to our destination both, in both ways. We talked about it, how it, it feels so much like it wasn't a restaurant. It was we came into a person's home. 
Um, what is your greatest achievement besides taking over? What is your greatest achievement that has come out of the restaurant for you? Oh, uh, having my brothers look up to me and know that big big brother is, is, is kind of really doing it and, and paving the way for them. You know, they look up to me is to 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 get things done. So uh, that's a huge deal for me. And the city looks up and kind of you know applauds or tells me how how much they appreciate you know because they say this is a part of their childhood and so to bring a part of that back um and or continue it to make sure that it continues um it, it's really fulfilling um i i also was uh asked to be a speaker at one of the entrepreneurship clubs that my father had me in during the summertime uh and when i was in middle school uh, so to like know that wow like I've reached a point where they taught me all this stuff, and now I'm actually able to come back and share with, you know, a class of young individuals that are learning about wanting to be entrepreneurs and stuff. So that's, that's to me, that's really big, you know. So I feel sure. like accomplished, and it's, you know, um, just grateful that all at the same time. Wow. Wow. Wonderful. I know you you um, have to get back to that hungry crowd and you've given us so much time and, uh, and given us a lot of your family and your family's history. Can you tell, um, can you tell everybody foodies out there how they can get to you? How oh, far away yes, from I'm you from, from the <laughs> airport, that sort of thing? Yeah, well, we're at 4916 Monkhouse Drive in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, we are not even a mile away from the airport. Um, one of the major interstates run through Shreveport is Interstate 20, um, and we're not even a mile from that neither. Um, so uh, you could reach us on Facebook or at um, Orlando's Cafe or our website at www.orlandoscafe.com and, it, and the spelling of our name is with the Creole spelling it's O-R-L-A-N-D-E-A-U-X apostrophe S cafe um, we're on Instagram as well for you youngsters and the millennials so uh, <laughs> just reach out and look into us and check us out and if you're ever in the, this neck of the bayou in North Louisiana Nowhere near close to New Orleans, but North Louisiana, uh, in Shreveport. Just stop on by and and give us a try. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for being part. I know you have to go back. Uh, It's been invaluable. I know you've touched uh, and reached a lot of people by our interview. Uh, So, again, thank you. Thank you for agreeing. Oh, it was my... My pleasure. Go back to go back to those hungry crowds, and um, well, hopefully we will be talking soon. Oh yes, most definitely we will. Thank you so okay. much, Dr. Martin. God bless you. God bless you too, Damien. Thank you. You know it is I as I sit back and I listen and I've listened to this young gentleman as he has uh, shared his story. Uh, with uh, with us, it's it's amazing that what what we have at that we don't even know that's there. These little hidden treasures, these these family run businesses, uh, these family run uh, shops. And I was thinking the other night about how much how some of the biggest chains got started as just a family run business. Uh, You know, I was thinking about, uh, you know, the independent insurance um, agent that I had on that was part of a bigger insurance agent last week, and how he decided to make a family run business for himself. The thing that captures me so much about Orlando's Cafe is that it's not just talk. If you ever get to North Shreveport, take the time. Take the time to go there. Take the time to be part of uh, that experience. You won't regret it. This is time for us to take a, a small break, and I'll be back 
Uh, Stay tuned. You've been listening to Dr. Martha on It's All About You on TuneIn Radio. And stay tuned, and we'll talk a little bit about next week. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth, published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and Tune in radio. Mike Zorick, a three time California state champion in Greco Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six time national placer, including two seconds, two thirds, and two fourths. He also won the veteran spoke style wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of career current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Welcome back. I am your host, Dr. Martha, coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we've ha- we had we had a wonderful, lively interview with Damian Chapman, uh, owner of Orlando's Cafe in Sh- Northern Shreveport, Louisiana. It is uh, it's worth your your time, as he said. Uh, the foodies out there, and there are many of us, the foodie travelers, and I guess you could consider my husband and I a foodie traveler, uh, you can pull up, um, you can pull it up on Yelp or at Google at the baggage claim if you're at uh, Shreveport Re- uh, Regional. And in 10 minutes later, you can be experiencing the best of the best of um, Louisiana uh, seafood, the of tradition in Shreveport, it's worth the it's worth the effort. It's worth it, um, and also the historical significance that's there. Continuing with all of um, all of this theme, next week I'm going to have with me a wonderful uh, woman uh, who has been. Um, an entrepreneur, she's phenomenal, and she's had multiple family businesses and expanding. Uh, and she will be with us next week to continue the third pillar of what I call the American uh, business uh, for family-owned businesses. She will be with us. 
she will be with us and she will be talking to us uh, about how she got into uh, this, her family business and how she continues it on because she's got some exciting new things that she's going to be happening. But as you've uh, gotten a taste, a good taste, of what American businesses and family-owned businesses means to the people of America, how that how that what they are part of and they hold a tradition and they're passionate about what they do from Rick Rolfs, who has the independent uh, insurance agency um, here at regional to Damian Chapman, who is the, uh, the owner and um, operator of Orlando's Cafe in Shreveport, Louisiana. You can see and you can hear in their voice their passion, their, their, um, their just just enthusiasm for, for what they do. Uh, they're hel- in the helping profession. And I have found, not all, but I have found most family businesses are in some sort of helping profession. So as we approach, um, as we approach for next week, we'll be talking to uh, Tara about her her experiences she has journeyed it's uh, her her longtime dream as a healing practitioner and she has journeyed far and wide uh, to study from china to tibet and places in between as as we come as we come to the end I want to take this moment to say thanks for listening to It's All About You, live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, saying goodbye until you and I can say hello again next Thursday at 1 o'clock Eastern, live on BBM Global and TuneIn Radio. been listening to it's all about you with your host dr martha latz join us next week as we explore solutions and resolutions to some of your most challenging moments on dr martha latz it's all about you you've been listening to the bbm global network The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.